Hello Aries. So Aries, today I'm going to do a past, present, future reading. It's been a while since I've done one. So we're going to get back to the basics. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. This is timeless. So whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages could resonate the most. This is also general Aries. So not every message is going to be for you. Just take what is and leave the rest. So let's jump in. Spirit, give me some past energy for Aries. What is the message? Past energy for Aries. Okay. Harmony. All right, Aries. Let's get some more messages. What is the energy for Aries, please? What is the present? What's happening in the here and now for Aries? What is happening in the here and now, spirit? Okay. Oh, love begins. Okay. What's going to happen in the future? What is the message? Wow. I have destiny, but it flipped out like this. Okay. So that is your future energy, Aries. So let's get some messages on harmony. Um, the number six could be significant. Spirit tell me about harmony. Why is harmony here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is harmony here for Aries? Oh, the Queen of Wands. Tell me more. Aries, your energy, the Nine of Wands. For some of you, you could have found yourself blocked off from love, being in a relationship. Give me another energy. Queen of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody came in offering you love. The Knight of Cups. Somebody found you very attractive. For some of you, though, you could have found out that this person was very manipulative, was a liar, a cheat. But initially, you were unaware. Like, you just could not really see this person's true colors. Give me another energy on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, judgment. Yeah, somebody desired you. Somebody made a decision to come towards you, offer you a cup of love, Aries, or you did this. Take it as it resonates. Why is the Nine of Wands here? But with the Nine of Wands, I'm still getting like a hesitant energy, the Emperor. So this is you. So you definitely could have been holding back, very guarded towards this person. Give me another energy on the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Tell me more. Give me something on harmony. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So, okay. So, you missed the opportunity in the past here, Aries. What happened is, you know, you came across this Queen of Wands energy. Somebody who was very attractive. Very beautiful. Very much a go-getter. A very powerful manifester. And like with this judgment, you know, this is God's spirit sending this person towards you. And an offer um, was made by this person or you needed to make an offer. To this person this is with this judgment this is god um giving you your fruit pretty much giving you what you deserve something that you could have been longing for for a while or this could be somebody else take it as it resonates swap the roles as need be but you ended up putting up a boundary you were very guarded towards this energy but this person came in um, very nurturing, loving, um, just a very gentle person. And, and they wanted a relationship with you, Knight of Cups. Or at least they wanted to see where things would go. Like with judgment, I'm just getting like a heavy sense of God repaying you here um, through this person. This person was going to be a gift to you. But there was a missed opportunity because you were in this Nine of Wands energy here you were too guarded give me an energy on this emperor why is the emperor here for aries what is the message you have the three of cups so for some of you you were entertaining like a third party here that's what this is 
Give me an energy on the Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Swords. So in order for you to have this future, this destiny, you would have had to cut someone off. And you weren't willing to do that with this Nine of Wands. It's like you still wanted to hold on to someone, hold on to a third party or just other people that you were dealing with. For some of you with this Hierophant and the Knight of Swords, I'm looking at how the Knight of Swords is kind of running away from the Hierophant. You were like in a very non-committal energy. Like you ran away from something that was divine or this person ran away from you, Aries. But I feel like for some of you now, this person is in regret. Because I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, they're realizing that you could have worked very good together. I'm just getting somebody really came in and extended a cup of love. Extended an opportunity to you to be in a very loving relationship. A true commitment. Where you both mashed. You were both, you know, equally yoked to each other. Give me an energy on the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? What is the message? Why is the Knight of Cups here for Aries? What is the energy? The past. Justice. Yeah, this was justice. Libra. God was bringing you justice in love or giving this person justice in love. And somebody withdrew from it. They held back because they were dealing with other people. They needed to make a change. They would have had to cut someone off if they wanted to be at the top of the wheel with you. If they wanted this faded connection, somebody needed to make adjustments. That's what this is. Give me an energy for the present. Why is love begins here? An energy for the present. Yeah, but this was new. This is giving me the energy of, you know, you and this person really didn't get heavily involved. This could have been a situation, you know, where... You were in the talking phase. You may have went out a couple of times, but it really didn't go anywhere. Give me an energy for love begins. Why is love begins here for Aries? What is the message? Presently, the Knight of Swords. So presently, Aries, this person want to come chasing after you. That's what this is. Somebody wants this opportunity back. They want their Ace of Cups. <laughs> That's what this is. So this is somebody, they definitely juggled you. They, they put you in competition because they had options. They did. They had options. Give me an energy on Love Begins. Why is Love Begins here? Present energy for Aries. What is the message? The Eight of Wands. So this person um, is going to communicate with you. Yeah. This is coming in quick. Or for some of you, this could have already came in since this is the present. Whether this person is reaching out to you with some type of communication via text, online, or if they are just coming towards you. I'm hearing live. So for some of you, this person knows what you live, where you live. They may actually pop up to your home, your residence. I'm hearing gated community. Okay. <laughs> Somebody stays in a gated community. So maybe not so much. Or, you know, maybe, you know, they may have to gain some type of access before they could physically be able to reach you give me an energy on the knight of swords why is the knight of swords here for aries what is the message why is the knight of swords here for aries what is the energy present energy eight of swords but somebody's trapped in their head about communicating with you page of wands give me another energy or about sending a message i'm hearing a text for some of you this person is definitely going to reach out to you through text give me another energy or have already done this for someone yeah the sun i feel like this person thinks a lot about what they did in the past 
Yeah, currently that's what's happening. They're thinking a lot about what happened in the past. It's like with the sun, it's like so bright. It's just illumination here. Like somebody can't get over how they treated you, how they missed this opportunity, how they withdrew from you, how they didn't act. Give me an energy on the Eight of Swords. The number eight could be significant, 88. Why is the Eight of Wands here, I mean? Give me an energy on the Eight of Wands. Yep, the Five of Swords. So somebody's stressing out about this communication, about coming towards you. Give me another energy on the Eight of Wands. What is the message? I feel like for some of you, things fizzled really fast with this person, the Hierophant. This person is stressing out because they want to offer you a commitment towards energy, Leo on the sun. Yeah, somebody want to offer you a commitment here. Give me an energy on the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Aries? What is the message? The Four of Cups. Yeah, but they rejected you. See, that's the issue for this person. They want to come in and give you a commitment or ask you out. They want to talk to you, but... They can't get over how they rejected you. Like somebody's being forced to face themselves, forced to face what they did. And for some of you, even with this Knight of Swords, it's like this person could be trying to run away from the past, run away from their actions, but they can't. They have to sit with this. The Sun to the Eight of Swords to the Four of Cups. They don't want to, but they're being made to. Give me an energy on the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Five of Swords here for Aries? What is the energy? The moon. This person has secrets. I'm hearing secret lovers. So yeah, this person definitely was dealing with somebody else. Somebody from their past. For some of you, Six of Cups. And, and I'm getting like they have to tell you about it. Like this person knows they have to come in and be honest. Um, Cancer, Pisces energy. Tell me more about this moon. Why is the moon here? What is the message? It's like this person has to come and be honest um, when it comes to who they chose over you. This person did have a choice. This was a third party for some of you. Look at this. Wow. Capricorn energy. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? What is the message? The Three of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, like this is a third party here. But this person is turning their back to a karmic energy. For some of you, it's like this person is trying to keep this karmic away from you. They don't want you to find out about whoever this toxic person is that they were in some type of commitment with. Tell me more about the moon. What is the energy? Yeah, they offered their Ace of Cups to this person, the Ten of Wands, but it was too burdensome for them. Yeah, it was too burdensome dealing with this. This was like a karmic relationship and it became too heavy. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So this person, they don't want you to find out everything that they've been through with this karmic for some of you this person could be a capricorn but they don't want you to know about all of the burdens the challenges that they face by choosing this person choosing to deal with this energy and they're turning their back for some of you they committed to this person but they don't want you to know everything that transpired in this relationship that's what this is for someone give me an energy on the ace of cups confirmation the train <laughs> give me an energy on the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here for aries what is the energy why is the ace of cups here for aries what is the message the world yeah a cycle is over yeah something is done 
And I feel like this person is regretting their actions. That's what this is. Give me something on the world. Why is the world here? What is the message? Yep, the Ten of Swords. So somebody's walking away. Somebody's closing out a major chapter. That's this person. They're leaving this karmic energy behind. They're closing out a cycle currently when it comes to this relationship, this commitment. And then I'm hearing all I do is think of you day and night. So you're heavily on this person's mind. They think about you a lot. They think about what they did to you, how they kind of just let things end. And I'm hearing fair. Something has to do with treating you fairly or giving you a fair shot. This person didn't do that. And they chose the karmic path and they walk straight into a whole lot of burdens and they don't want you to know about everything that they experience. Somebody is embarrassed here. It's kind of like with the three of wands, they just want to forget about it. Like they don't ever want to revisit it again. <laughs> They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to think about it. Like, no, that's over. They're just ready for the new. Give me an energy on destiny and the reverse for the future. What's this future energy? I'm hearing with um destiny in the reverse like this, slipping away. So somebody could be letting their destiny slip away from them. Give me an energy on destiny. Why is destiny here for Aries? What is the message? Why is destiny here for Aries for the future? The Eight of Cups. Give me another message. For destiny. What is the energy for the future? The King of Pentacles. So I'm just getting like... It's going to be almost too late. I mean, this is almost fully in the reverse. Somebody like waited too long. They wasted a lot of time. They want to come towards you and offer you this commitment. This could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Taurus with the Hierophant or Capricorn with the devil energy. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups or somebody that has a highly aspected or somebody could just be in this King of Pentacles energy. Somebody who's very stable, self-sufficient, a go-getter, um, good money management skills. Give me an energy. But I'm even looking at the doll. Like for some of you, this person was just so used to having like a bachelor lifestyle or bachelorette lifestyle. Yeah, this person really didn't see themselves settling down, you know. They would date here and there. Yeah, they may have girlfriends or boyfriends, but they never really thought of themselves getting into any type of serious commitment. And there's something about this karmic, too, that has made this person kind of want to shy away from it even more shy away from commitment i'm just hearing like i should have never dealt with this person i should have never messed with this person yeah but this is a lesson give me an energy on the eight of cups why is the eight of cups here what is the message the three of swords tell me more for the future the tower i'm telling you something about getting away like this person want to come towards you but they're going to end up in a three of swords. That's the tower. This person going to end up hurt because they missed out. Yeah, they're going to miss out. That's what this is. Scorpio energy on a tower. Why is the tower here? What is the message? The magician. Give me another energy. The three of pentacles. So for some of you, oh, wow. Whoever this third party is, like this person not letting up. Whoever this third party is, whoever they were in this relationship with or they were married to, this person's not letting up. Like this person is still going to interfere. Three of swords, three of pentacles. This person ain't going anywhere. This person is going to try to manifest endings for whoever this king of pentacles is because she doesn't want him to be with anyone else or he. Take it as it resonates. So this person wants this energy to miss out on this wish fulfillment. So this energy is still going to be doing things, trying to create upheaval 
somebody's still going to be there this third party's like still going to be there in some way give me an energy on the king of pentacles especially if they have like a child or children with this person like uh-uh it's still going to be some type of drama the two of wands give me another energy on the king of pentacles what is the message The two of pentacles yes this third party still is going to be there and part of the reason they're going to still be there is because this masculine is still going to be juggling mm -hmm. this person still can't make a decision about what they want i'm telling you somebody's in that energy of being a forever bachelor or bachelorette like somebody's still non-committal here that's why destiny is almost in the reverse somebody's getting ready to miss out that's what's going to happen and this third party is still going to be somewhere lingering Give me another energy on the two of wands. So it's like whoever this masculine energy is, like when they come towards you or if they try to come towards you, just know for the future they haven't fully released this third party. Like she or he is still around lingering somewhere. Give me an energy on the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for Aries? The eight of pentacles. Give me another energy on the two of pentacles, the seven of swords. This person's going to have to work. They're going to have to invest. This is not going to be easy. I feel like this person is debating about telling you the truth. Like they're still coming in with secrets. They're still coming in with attachments. That's what this is. Give me another energy on the seven of swords in the reverse. What is the message? Yeah, the two of swords. Somebody's still indecisive. Yeah, and they know they're going to have to be honest. They're going to have to put in the effort. And, and somebody don't know whether or not they want to do that. So it, it's still going to be a stalemate. This person's still going to have you lingering, having have you left out there, just dangling here. Give me an energy on the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Aries? What is the message for the future? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yep, strength. This person, they're going to have to be willing to invest. That's what this is. And, and they don't know if they're ready to do that. That's what it is, Aries. That's where it's at. So this person may just miss out. They, I mean, by the time they get there, the door is pretty much going to be cracked. It's going to be almost shut. And they still don't know what they want to do. They don't know if they want to put in the effort and the energy to work on things with you. Leo energy. This person don't know if they're, you know, if they're just willing. If they can do it. Because I'm telling you, somebody's so used to being a bachelor. Give me one more on the Eight of Pentacles. Yep, the star. But this is about this person's fate, their destiny here. Thank you. Their destiny, their path. They have to be willing and they, they just don't know if they are. Give me an energy on destiny. Why is destiny here? What is the message? And you know, God is not going to force anybody. You know, he gives everyone free will. We have a choice and this person is just not going to be able to make the decision in the future give me another energy on destiny the four of swords yeah this situation gonna be laid to rest that's it it's gonna be over this person is gonna end up missing out and then i'm hearing been there done that so yeah this could be a situation where you know you've already experienced this before something similar whether it's with this person or with someone else you've already been down this rabbit hole so you know how this work aries and I just feel like you're you're not going to waste your time, especially once you see that this person can't make up their mind and this third party still in this masculine energy trying to be manipulative in some way. I have all this necessary. Without darkness, there is no light. Like a lotus flower, you can grow from the mud and bloom in the dark. So yes, whatever you've been through with this person, it was necessary. It was a life experience for you. Whatever, you know, doesn't harm you or
cause, you know, any type of destruction, demise in your life will only make you stronger. You know, so you are not defeated here. Like a lotus flower, you will grow from this situation. And I feel like God is just going to replace whatever it is that you've lost with this person. Whether, you know, it's just time, it's energy for some of you, money, whatever, it's going to be replaced. God is going to give you more. And just because this person, you know, can't make up their mind, God is going to send someone in your life that will, that will know what they want, that will invest. God is going to give you better. So Aries, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.